Hello and welcome my friend and next I am planning to show you that how to check our engines those crankshaft bearing status and now I have take the cylinder head out and then when we look in here there is this uh, engines bottom area and then when we look in here we can see this crankshaft and the crankshaft they are part of this uh, this crankshaft system and then I like to show that what it looks like if we have four cylinder engine because now I have this really compact uh, three cylinder uh, this engine what is what is made by Toyota and when I rotate this three cylinder engine there is I can see this this name of this engine and there is this engine name is there and this engine type is 1KR if you like to know that what is this engine type and there is also serial number and these three cylinder engines they are becoming more common and common and like those new BMWs electric cars there is this support motor is normally three cylinder engine and many car maker they are doing smaller engines okay and then we go to look this four cylinder engines crankshaft bearing in okay and here I have this uh, four cylinder engine and there we can see this crankshaft it is this part that moves in here very smoothly and there is excellent bearings because this this uh, crankshaft moves so easily and this is like first test when we are testing crankshaft bearing status that how easily this crankshaft moves and these bearings are in this four cylinder engines in here 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 and here and so we have one two three four five bearing sets and these are like those uh, connection rods areas where pistons goes down. Now I have take those pistons they are in their inner area. But this is like first test that how easily this crankshaft moves in free and can we feel any tolerance. And when I lift down this engine in that way I can't I, I can't feel anything in here. There is no any tolerance. Very silent movement. This is like first first test and this engine is by the way this very high tech Toyota's VVTI engine series but we have this size 1.8 liter 1.6 and then those bigger 2.4 liter and 2 liter engines okay and then we go to look back this smaller engine okay and here we are in this same this this starting point and this is also VVTI engine but this is three cylinder and same idea like this four cylinder VVTI engine and now I rotate that engine in the other side that we can see those bearings crankshaft bearings okay. okay and here now now we can see this crankshaft bearing status and in same way as this four cylinder engine I can test that how easily this crankshaft moves and this moves very easily and next in this three cylinder engines we have one two three four we have only four of those crankshaft bearing sets and next I need to take these bolts open that I can see this crankshaft. Okay, and this bolt size is 14 millimeter. Now I I open this crankshaft bolts and then I, I rotate this free that we can do this checking. Okay. 
Now these bolts are free. And then I can lift these bolts out. They are specific bolts. And then I can lift that upper bearing array out. But now it's stuck. And what to do? Normally we can heat this really carefully. If we have like some rubber part carefully and then it opens and sometimes this can be a little bit stuck and now it, this seems to be quite tight and I take then my tongs that maybe I can lift up this using my tongue Now, now this seems that this is very, very tight, very tight, and that means that if I can't take that out, I need to open next, next this bearing area, and in final step I can take that out. Okay, now I open that area. And I, by the way. I have tool that I rotate in that way. Okay, good. Okay, let's look. Let's look that can I op open that one. Bolts open. And then this is also quite tight. Let's look. That. Okay, now I managed to open. And here, now we have something to see. Okay, and this is like this upper area in this crankshaft bearing. And I take my clean cotton cloth that I can clean. And then there's idea that when we start to investigate our crankshaft bearing status, that first we check that what is this bearing status this overall looking because it, it must be look really silver like in here but in here there is something burn out and then I can take this whole bearing material out and I can clean that and in next step I can also measure I can measure that what is this thickness and in that way I can compare that bearing in this against the new one. But in, in first step I can say that this is quite okay. Only small things in here, small toes movements in here. And then I take second bearing out because I need to check also that area and there is inner area also. Let's go to look. I I take now these old final bearings out that they can see that what is status in here that one let's look these Toyota's engines are great because these bolts are so easy to open Let's look that bolt. Then, then final, final bolt in here. Good. And now all these crankshaft bearings are free. And then I can lift up this little bit up in the and. And now, if I can take this out, now it seems that I need to take also this connection roads out. And for that purpose, I need 10 millimeter socket. I open also these because this is quite tight combination. And I need to open so these connection rods bearings. Ok, 
Okay, good. Now this is free. And then I open this next one. Next one in here. It is free. And then, then this last one. Okay, and this, this part opens. And then I move these connection rows in down, and, and then we have one, one connection row left in here, and I open that. And then this crankshaft should be free. Okay. And then this bolt open. and I take that one and then now there should be everything should be fine there is connection roads and I can press that down now when I, when I lift that up I believe that this crankshaft should move up let's look Okay, and it is still quite tight, a little bit. Now, this bearing is free. And still this number three is in here. And then this first one. Okay, and now this first one is free. Now I believe that finally Finally, this third is also third one. It is also free. Okay, now, now I can lift that crankshaft up. Okay, and here is crankshaft. Okay, good. Now it's free. And the second step is that I need to check this crankshaft bearing status in here. I need to insert that in here and all of these crankshaft I take clean cotton cloth and I need to check these areas these areas in here that are actually these areas in here this is crankshaft area that I need to check that is there any bad spots like in here look this is bad and then can I see any scratches? And how about in here? Here is also some bad dots. And then if we can if we can feel in here, if we take our finger, if we can feel in the finger there anything bad, then we have really bad tools. But now now these looks just just okay. They are a little bit bad. Then, then we had this third and final check, and it is like this lower areas bearings, and they are like opposite part of this upper areas in here, that part, and this part. When we move this little bit, we can take this out out and look that there is this oil oil hole in here and now we also we check that is this totally silver and shiny and we can also measure the thickness and compare against the new one and when we look in that area especially because this part is all, all always like fix this part this part don't move. It is like a fixed statistic part. And then I can check those all other parts and and if if I can see that everything of these looks okay, that means that I'm very happy. But if I can see bad scratches, dents and holes, or black or blue, 
uh, spots in here. Then I need to replace these bearings. And they are easy to replace when I use my thumb and I take that bearing in my hand. And we can purchase and find the best bearings in Toyota dealership. And then if we like to be budget, budget hunting, we can purchase some parts in iPay or Amazon.com web shop places. Okay, and then, then when we have checked that this part is okay, next step is for to check that is this our crankshaft, this bearing areas okay, and we can measure also that area. And final thing, and and if there is any issues, we need to replace it. crankshaft. And final part was to check this upper bearing material in here that is this intolerance okay that kind of information and of course thank you for watching the video